girl hey so i leave or my husband and i leave for vacation in about a week and a half and i need to go get some things i need to pick up a few things from h m uh, hopefully i can get my eyebrows laminated i'm definitely getting my nails done um and i just have to like maintenance things that i have to do that i'm going to bring you guys around with this week um but first today we're going to eat as usual and probably stop by h m because we need like i need like i said i need a few things um so yeah let's get prepared and ready for vacation my husband actually just ran into best buy because um, we need to get some electronic stuff for our trip, like a GoPro and some other stuff he wants to get for the trip. Um, but I stayed inside because I didn't feel like going to Best Buy. I did want to kind of check in with you guys. If you've been here with me for a while, you know that my weight and working out is a constant struggle for me. So I'm always trying to be healthier and, you know, um, feel good in my body. But anyway, I decided that when we get back from vacation, I'm probably going to get a personal trainer um, just to help me along because I really don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm doing a, a cardio, but I feel like if I get somebody who is trained in training, that I will be more successful. I um, am a little intimidated. I'm a lot intimidated actually by getting a personal trainer for a few reasons, but I'm gonna do it anyway. And hopefully um, I start to feel better about it. In my head, and tell me if this is crazy, because it probably is crazy, but in my head I feel like I want to lose a few more pounds <laughs> before I get a trainer. I don't know why. I just, I feel judged, you guys. I feel like the trainer, the trainer is going to judge me. So if I lose a few more pounds, the trainer could judge me less. Does that make sense? But anyway, just updating you guys. It's just a part of my life. It's not like something that is messing with my mind right now. I feel okay right now, probably because we're about to go on vacation. <laughs> but I have decided just to keep it under control and to, you know, get it in check and not have to worry about it all the time that I need a trainer. Also, these Tom Ford sunglasses are on sale at Nordstrom Rack. Guys, do not pay full price for these sunglasses. These are like three, four hundred dollars on Nordstrom, but on Nordstrom Rack right now they're about a hundred. I don't remember, but uh, last time I checked, they had even more of a sale. So yeah, I will leave that in the description box. people's faces people aren't wearing masks I saw a beautiful lipstick color today it's just after the year we had especially in New York City because it got crazy here I'm just I'm relieved I am relieved We are in Harlem for brunch today. We never come up here for brunch. Let's see what happens. I hope it's good. Sorry guys, again, the air condition's on, so hopefully you can hear me. But, we almost are never in Harlem, just because we live in Brooklyn and it's just not close. Um, but it's a vibe over here. It's a little vibe. I will say though, that it took almost an hour for our food to come. And I was hungry and started to get a little hangry. But I think it's because they're trying to hire people. But anyway, yeah, the food was the food was okay. Um, I would try it again, but probably make a reservation because it was hot while I had the AC on. <laughs> but um, yeah. year I'm not getting my nails done 
or doing them by myself. I'm about to get them done right now. says hey we are actually in Long Island and we came all the way out here because my husband found this restaurant um, I guess that's on the beach or close to the beach <laughs> and I'm gonna take you guys along hopefully it's nice because I am hungry I, at this point I don't care how nice it is we've been in traffic for a long time and I am just starving and if you're new here you don't know that I get hangry. I get a little hangry. <laughs> so I am hungry. Hopefully the place is nice. Okay, so this is Cabo day one. I have some things to tell you, but I'll tell you uh, in a moment. But first, um, I wanna show you my outfit and then we'll talk later on the way to get the rent -a car Let me show you my outfit. Actually, the lighting in here is trash. So <laughs> when we go outside, I'll have my husband show um, what I'm wearing today. This is the first time we've been to this uh, side of Mexico. We're in Cabo, I didn't even tell you guys that. And we are at the beach. This sand feels kind of rocky. It was not my intention to get wet right now at the beach. We were just coming to check it out. Man, those waves are big. We were just coming to check it out. Are we about to get attacked again? We are so far away from the water and it is coming so close to us. I just got attacked and all of my legs and my husband's legs just got wet and we have no like towel to fix it. These waves are huge, but it's very, very beautiful. These glasses have not left my face since I put them on this morning. I am so in love with these glasses. I'm probably gonna wear a different pair tomorrow, but for right now, I'm in love. Sorry, I'm looking at the viewfinder and not at you guys because what? If you haven't watched my luxury haul video, go check them out and you'll get the deets on these glasses. I love them. So anyway, you guys, we we're just back in the hotel room. My husband just went downstairs to book some like adventures, <laughs> like I guess ATVing and the boat tours and stuff like that. But I realized that I haven't caught you guys up on everything that has happened. So really quickly, let me just tell you the journey we had getting here. So it's, we got here yesterday evening, um, but they canceled our flight and, and uncanceled it so many times. It was supposed to be at six, then it was supposed to be at eight, and then it was supposed to, it, it just got crazy. But eventually we got here. Then when we got here, we thought we were gonna have a room, or my husband thought he paid for a room with a balcony, and it was big and, we walked in into this room and child, <laughs> it's not a bad room, but it's definitely not what we thought it was gonna be. Um, and then I was like, I told him, I was like, babe, just go back and check to see if you actually booked the balcony in the bigger room. And turns out he didn't. <laughs> it turns out he didn't. Like, I, I guess we should have known because the price was so good. It's not a horrible room, just not much to show, and it's a mess, so maybe I'll show it later after we clean it up, maybe. But it's fine, it's just we were supposed to have a balcony and a marina view, and next time, I guess, maybe next time. And then, after not getting here on time, then the room debacle, then the dress that I'm gonna wear on my birthday, or was gonna wear on my birthday, 
got completely stained and dirty and God knows I have no idea how that happened because nothing else is messed up and um, so my husband took it out and apparently felt really really bad that it got messed up and now, and now he messed up the room so he tried to really clean it I guess it doesn't look too bad but also I don't know if I'm going to wear it I don't know it's just been debacle after debacle but we are here I am alive he's alive and yeah how could I be upset when I'm in Cabo okay so a few things about Cabo really quickly it is not Tulum <laughs> I've been to Mexico a few times I've been to Playa um, the Carmen and Cozumel Cancun and Tulum right so my favorite hands down is Tulum because I guess I'm a bougie you know what if you've been watching me you know I am I'm a down-to-earth bougie you know what but a bougie nonetheless um, and I love Tulum it's vibes like there's no other way to describe Tulum other than vibes and Playa and the other places are very nice but just in a different way Cabo we came to Cabo because it we've never been here before is seems to be more of a like party city town which is definitely not me it's never been it wasn't me in my 20s it really wasn't me as a kid um like example people have started drinking it was like 10 o'clock we went down for early lunch i mean we went down for early breakfast excuse me and we walked past the bar and people are drinking already can we at least get to 12 <laughs> can it at least be noon and i don't problem I'm not judging anybody that's just not me right it's just a little different than Tulum um, but I'm sure we're gonna have a great time I'm still excited to be here and yeah um, and I also realized that I didn't I said I was gonna show you my outfit but I didn't because um, stuff just got crazy I mean, let me show you what I was wearing today was a really chill day and I put on these Lueve glasses I had on this lack of color hat that recently broke I did not have on this scarf. I had on this H&M outfit that you guys saw that I hauled in this video. I'll put it up here. I don't remember exactly what video it was. Um, it's the linen top and some shorts that match like a peachy, beautiful color. Then I had on these brown sandals I got from Nordstrom Rack a while ago. If I could find them out, obviously I will link them. And then you guys, that Marc Jacobs tote is life. It is so good it fits everything in there it's super comfortable um i did wear it most of the day I, um anyway i've talked too much i just wanted to show you what i was wearing catch you up and i'll bring you along wherever we go after we leave this room birthday to me today is my birthday oh how rude of me hey girl hey today is my birthday and it's also going to be raining there is a storm of brewing so it's gonna be interesting um, I am still happy that to be here even though it's gonna be raining I'm sure we'll figure something out we rented a car so maybe we'll go explore I'm just so happy to be out of New York you guys so I don't, it could have been snowing well maybe not snowing <laughs> Snowing in Mexico might be alarming, but uh, yeah, I'm just happy to be here. So yeah, of course I'm gonna take you guys along with me and we'll see what happens. They said it's supposed to rain today, like I said in my last clip, but it looks beautiful right now. So we're just gonna enjoy the outside until it starts to rain. what I was wearing I had on that long kimono is from uh, Etsy 
and the shoes are from ASOS and that hat is lack of color. You, If you're not new here, you know I love lack of color. All right, so we are gonna go to the pool despite the incoming rain. And when it starts to rain, we'll probably leave because we don't know what else to do right now. Um, I did switch, I put on different hair because <laughs> I don't know, why not? This is from um, Amazon, so I will link it below. These are from VYE. I've talked about these glasses before, you guys. Um, they're about $70, but they go on sale for about $35, 50% uh, off often. So when they do, I will link it. I will link it either way. Um, this lipstick is Gucci. I don't remember the name, but I will put the name of it here or somewhere around here. And yes, we're about to go in the pool. Well, we're about to go to the pool despite the incoming rain. Wait, also, Today's my birthday. I don't know if I said that today. Did I? Did I say it again? Maybe I said it already. I'm still excited. All right, let's go. Also, really quickly, I just wanted to show that my husband is the best husband in the world and got me something from none other than Hermes, darling. Um, and I'll show you guys later. All right, let's go. Now the sun is out. It rained a little bit. We're still just out here. We're gonna stay out here as long as it doesn't rain. Well, it did start raining. So yeah, we're going back. So you know we're in a different country so you try to speak their language he'd be like hola <laughs> gracias he says it mad hard very new york <laughs> very harsh and i'm just like babe just say hola gracias no he'd be like hola gracias <laughs> it's very it's very harsh <laughs> it's very harsh i know he's trying but it is actually hilarious say hola babe Babe, <laughs> he's, not gonna, he's not even gonna pretend to say anything. Hola. Uh, oh, now you say it nice. He's like, hola. Hola. <laughs> say gracias. Say thank you. Gracias. <laughs> Como estas? <laughs> Needless to say, I'll be the one trying to speak the little bodega Spanish that I do know. Oh. <laughs> So, <laughs> first of all, hey girl, hey, don't wanna be rude. This is a new day, why don't you greet you? So my husband just went downstairs to pick something up from our tickets from, our tickets for some of the things we're doing tomorrow. And you guys, this guy got us in a timeshare presentation. He was like, he went to go get some tickets. I stayed in the room because I don't know why. But So this fool calls me talking about I know how to get us some cheap times. Um, I know how to get us some cheap tickets. I was like, how? This fool was talking about we could take a 90 minute timeshare and then we could get all these great things. Well, I was opposed to it. But because I'm a team player, I said, all right, fine. Let's, let's do this. If you want to do it, fine. I was very opposed to it though keep that in mind so we wake up this morning on vacation and have to be downstairs at 8 30 and for this time show that he set up and it was supposed to be 90 minutes this thing turned out to be three hours long three hours <laughs> long and the person was very nice and it was you know very pleasant they weren't overly pushy but I don't want to have to be dealing with this so this time in the morning that we spent at the timeshare we could have been at the beach club or just at any anything else you can't 
that's one thing about my husband. I'm very blessed to have a husband that takes very good care of us. And I take good care of him too, obviously. But, and he'll spend money if it's good. You saw yesterday for my birthday, he got Hermes. He's not fussy about that stuff. Um, not too much, I mean, within reason. <laughs> if I came home with a Birkin bag somehow, he would he would not be happy, because that's just not in the price ring right now. But he's not too fussy about that kind of stuff. Um, but when he could save a dollar, he will save a dollar, even if we have to get up at the crack of dawn on vacation to go to a timeshare, you guys, I can't. Yeah, it was just, um, uh, he's, he's, it's too much. And the whole time he's looking at me <laughs> like, I can't believe I did this. So we came back into the room and he's like, my bad, I'm sorry. Yeah, bro, <laughs> yes, you're bad. Three hours, three hours, you guys. I am cracking up. Good morning. Today is gonna to be interesting. You guys, I am not an adventurous person. I like to shop, I like to cook, I even like to clean sometimes. I like creative things, putting videos together, editing pictures, making stories. <laughs> I do not, I say I do not like sportsy things and adventurous things. However, today, because I'm a good wife, I have agreed to go ATVing. Is that what you call it? ATVing? It's about to get dirty, it's about to get messy. And I'm a little nervous. <laughs> These glasses are from Amazon. They're really cool, like, I don't know, five, ten dollars, I don't remember, I will link them. But because we're on the ATV, I did want some sun protection, and I also wanted, um, I also wanted to make sure I used some inexpensive glasses just in case something happened. So yeah, let's go in the desert <laughs> and get dirty. actually about to go on this boat ride where we get to see the fish. So let's hope that we actually get to see some fish. further. I don't know if you guys can see me or not, but you can hear me. We came out a little further, um, a little outside Cabo, I guess, and we're kind of beach hopping. You guys, I love the sound of the water. I will say that the sand out here is hard. And not to sound like this guy, but the sand in Bali and like the Caribbean, much nicer. But this is like rocks. Next beach. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you.